What's up guys? Today we are going to be talking about the Wilcox Raptor. You've probably seen something like this on top of a rifle like this. Whether it be mounted on the side rail or on a top rail above the rifle like such. To cover the basics of exactly what this device is, I'll start by pointing out the obvious, uh, or maybe not so obvious. It is essentially a aiming laser with an IR laser suite in it as well. So visible aiming laser, IR aiming laser, and IR illuminator as well as a ballistics calculator and rangefinder. So this thing does a lot of stuff. Uh, you're probably familiar with the Wilcox RAID, what it does. Aiming laser, IR laser, IR illuminator. This thing does everything that the RAID does and more. Slightly larger. Weight-wise, it's approximately the same. I don't think it's a very heavy uh, device. I don't think there's uh, much difference there, surprisingly, for the size of it. The way this guy works is pretty straightforward. You've got your selector on the back here. This guy. Basic settings. Our dual high power flood, high power laser, high power dual low power, IR laser, low power off function, and then BAL, which stands for ballistics, and then VIS low power. There's also a VIS high power if you spin it all the way around here past the blue screw. Uh, as you can see, Battery compartment's back here. It's actually pretty easy to use on this guy. There's a lot of room. No issues there. LCD screen back here. Obviously it has a shade over it. Makes it easy to see. As far as the top of this thing, it's got a fire button. Left, right, down. Uh, menu buttons. This button right here is the rangefinder button. From the side profile, the lens caps come off and they store right there, just like that. Pretty easy, out of the way. As you can see on top there, that guy is your rangefinder. The exterior body of this thing is pretty unique. It has an actual set of iron sights, if you can see it there. The rear notch and the front post. Point of it being to do like that. I know that's not the best focus, but that's what I've got there. This is your data port, plugs into the included switch. Other than that, this guy's pretty straightforward. Uh, actual outputs. The Viz laser, 35 milliwatts. The IR illuminator is 100 milliwatts. And the IR laser is 60 milliwatts. These guys are available in an iSafe version. We sell it as well. Um, to get the full power like this, you have to be qualified uh, with proper credentials. Standard stuff. Uh, as far as the illuminator adjustment, it's this guy right here. Just like that. Pretty straightforward stuff.
going through the contents of the bag that comes with this guy. There's your switch. We've got toothbrush, lens cleaning cloth, quick reference guide, instruction manual. There's the Allen key for the blue screw, and that's it. This is the switch. It's set up the exact same as the top of the actual device. Comes with a little cover on that. It's a cool deal. It just plugs in just like that. It's a pretty long switch. If you were actually to mount this on a gun, uh, one of the note is the spring loaded rail clamp. If you were to put it on there, you could actually run this. You run the switch all the way back to the end of the rifle. I to give you an idea of uh, some of the capabilities of this device, uh, I'll go ahead and turn it on here. So basically, uh, this is the function menu uh, where you can see how much battery is left, the brightness of the screen, your ID pattern, uh, which is basically your IR function, whether it flashes or otherwise pattern one uh, or off where it just throws out a, you know, a beam. Uh, get out of that menu there. Very tactile buttons on that, by the way. Range gate, laser rangefinder configurator, your ballistics, uh, full solution, a range in meters, range in yards. Uh, I'm personally a fan of range in yards. Uh, your compass calibrator, self-test, defaults, and about. Getting out of this specific menu, just show you some of the things I can do there. That guy. If we go down to ballistics, there are 20 guns that you can store in this. You see this says gun selection. Gun one, two, three, so on and so forth. This thing can hold about 20 guns. It's pretty straightforward. If you are familiar with basically any ballistics calculator, uh, this guy's the same thing. You put the data in the device. If it's accurate, you will get good data out of it. You can also download um, applied ballistics uh, onto your cell phone and upload your gun data to it and wirelessly Bluetooth transmit those uh, settings to this device. So it'll make it a little bit easier rather than going through the menu buttons on this. Uh, environment, let's see what's in here. Shows your temperature, pressure, humidity, uh, wind speed, which you can set, wind direction, uh, all basic stuff to set up your target, what size it is, etc. There's some options in here. Um, in units, what it goes input as and how it outputs it. You can change it to mills or MOA. Angle calibration. Uh, your managed guns is where you put your gun information in if you were to do it through this device. So, this thing's got some, you know, capabilities to it. If we put this thing to Viz laser low and fire it. Obviously it'll fire a visible laser, but that's all straightforward stuff. That acts just like a RAID or a PEC-15 or uh, an L3 end goal. Uh, the coolest thing about this device is the range finder. So if we were to hit the, this button right here, the range finder, It says ranging. It says no target there. However, let me spin this thing around here and actually range something. Sorry about that. I'm back. So I went and uh, went outside and ranged this. As you can see, R29 
Uh, this is set up in meters, maybe yards, I'm not sure. But you can adjust it from yards, meters, and have different outputs of bills, meters, MOA, yards, or there's an ACOG setting which, you know, puts out a, a solution for that. Some of the other stuff that's going on on here, if you see those two tilted lines there, if I can't this to the left, or can't it to the right, it's got a can't indicator on it. On the left here, again, good data in, whatever gun you put in, like, uh, you know, an SR-25, you know, APC, shooting whatever bullet, whatever velocity, put good data in, and it's going to give you a good solution there. 1.7 uh, mils upward of elevation, 0.1 mils left of windage. So, pretty cool unit, and that thing works all the way out to well over 2,000 yards. So, now you see a little bit of the capability of this. You can mount this thing to your gun, range find any target. If you have got good data from your rifle, put into this thing, it's going to give you a good solution. You can make first round hit probability become very high using just this guy. Unknown distance targets. Uh, that being said, on the daytime side of things, you can either dial your optic to, you know, 1.7 mils, or you can just hold over 1.7 mils. You know, standard stuff for people shooting long range, um, PRS, whatever the case may be. This is where things change and get a little bit different. When you pair the Raptor as a laser rangefinder and a laser sweep uh, onto your rifle, you can pair it with a handful of different thermals. Uh, this one specifically is the Pixels on Target Voodoo S. Some of you guys are familiar with it. If not, watch my other video. Awesome device. Very small. Can be used for a lot of things. Currently, it's on, it's on a Wilcox flip to side mount. Uh, handy little device. Great for hunting. Uh, I'm sure it has some other uses as well in the military. So, you can connect this guy to this guy with a cable from this port to that port right there. What's neat about it is that when you hit the range button on the Raptor or using the pressure pad on that guy, uh, the solution that it displays on the screen here, which in our previous example, 30 yards was 1.7 mils, you know, whatever data was put in it, uh, you can turn on a function called trace IR uh, along with uh, disturbed reticle is basically what, what it is. The reticle that is inside of this thermal unit will drop on screen to the proper firing solution that this outputs. So let's say you're shooting this uh, 2010 here out to 1100 yards and it's calling for 8 mils of elevation uh, and you know 0 0.2, 0 0.3 mils of windage. You can dial your scope or you can hold over. Either is fine. But if you've got it connected to this, trace IR turned on, the disturbed reticle in this guy will move the reticle that's in this device down to match where it should be inside of your day optic. Sounds kind of crazy. Uh, I will try and find some images uh, showing what that looks like. But basically, if that gun's zeroed at 100 yards and this guy's, you know, zeroed with it, it's a line. Uh, you know, the reticle of this device basically overlays the reticle inside the day scope. Uh, when you dial it, obviously, 
you're moving the internal, you know, of the optic, it's going to cause those two reticles to shift in relation to each other. And you'll be relying on the crosshairs from the day optic. Without having to adjust it, you can range and it will move the reticle inside of this uh, to basically your point of impact. So move over, you know, your target to the reticle that's in this, fire, and you've got a very high probability of hitting your target. You know, that's, uh, that's real layman's terms there. I'm not the best at explaining it, but it's, it's like cheating. It truly is. Unknown distance targets hit range find, and it automatically moves the reticle inside of this to what you need to aim at. Um, again, the biggest thing with that is good data in will have good data out. That's the most important aspect of this. If you put in the wrong data, you know, you fudge some numbers, whatever, your, you know, ballistics calculator is relying on your good information input into it for it to be able to put out something that's, you know, right and proper. So. In conclusion, uh, this thing makes a great addition to pretty much any long range rifle that you have. Uh, I don't think it's something that I would necessarily put on a Mark 18 or even a 16 or 14 and a half inch general purpose rifle. Uh, this guy is realistically going to be reserved for, you know, bolt guns or SR 25s, uh, larger caliber, longer range rifles. Uh, yeah, it has the IR laser suite in it. Uh, it can do all that stuff and that's great. Uh, you can use it with a night vision clip on, you know, it's got a good illuminator on it, you know, range finder, all that stuff, and that's great, you know, but the best function of this thing is being used with a the thermal at nighttime and, you know, using trace IR with the disturbed reticle. Uh, it's not a cheap setup by any means. That uh, Pixels on Target Voodoo S, that thermal device. Those guys happen to be around, yeah, right there. Those guys happen to be around seventeen thousand uh, dollars, which, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say what everybody's budget is, but that thing's expensive. The Raptor itself is also expensive. Uh, it runs around ninety-three hundred dollars at the time of this video, and then there is a cable that you need that goes between the two devices that is around, I want to say it's around a thousand dollars. I could be wrong. Uh, either way, it's not cheap. Uh, but if you purchase one of these or you purchase one of these, it's 100% worth your time to get the other device and get the cable and use them in conjunction with each other. Uh, that being said, that's uh, really all I have to say about this thing. It's an awesome piece of kit and everybody should get to play with it. You know, yeah, it's a cost prohibitive thing, but I do think everybody should get to experience it. They're available on our website. Uh, they do have a lead time. They are, you know, built to order. Uh, typically, it's three to four weeks lead time. So get your orders in and get you something awesome. Show off to all your friends. That's all I got for it.